Welcome back. It's almost 645. A little problem here for some drivers early this morning in Cleveland. A water main break on East 55th. We're seeing a lot of these. John Rudder is there for us. John, you always have your eye on the traffic alerts. Uh, what's it mean for drivers there? Yeah, hey, good morning, Katie. Certainly some congestion along East 55th Street that drivers can expect this morning. This water break, you can see crews are on scene just south of Interstate 90 and water is still flowing from this break. Now it's in a tricky spot because it's also right near a railroad bridge that already restricts traffic along East 55th Street uh, with light traffic right now. Again, just a little bit of a delay, no huge impact at the moment, but this area does get pretty congested with people getting on and off the highway, so that could really cause some problems for drivers as the rush begins to uh, pick up later this morning. Again, water still bubbling from the street, and you can kind of see uh, if any if folks are trying to make a left or a right off of this, it could really cause uh, some issues and some confusion. They haven't shut the water off just yet. We will try to check in with Cleveland Water Crews to get an update on when this might be fixed. Again, this happening East 55th Street, just south of Interstate 90. Katie, Mike. All right, John, thanks so much. A historic lake in the center of Parma will soon become a stormwater retention basin in an effort to stop major flooding. So this was a unanimous decision for the city council, but not so much for people who live in that area. We've talked a lot about this.